Hello everyone, Lone Wolf here. It is December 18th, and I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Here are my top 10 uh, Coldplay songs. I just wanted to get this list out of the way because I love Coldplay. I've reviewed their um, Every Teardrop of the Waterfall EP. Let me just raise the volume, just a warning, and uh, yeah, right there is good. Okay, so here we go. Uh, number 10, pretty, pretty obvious I should have picked this one, Fix You. It's off of X and Y, a beautiful anthem slash um, ballad. I mean, the ballad section could easily stand on its own, but then, you know Coldplay, they want to be anthemic. They want to start heard off slow, steady, and then just build it to a crescendo, which explodes into nothing but beautiful light. And that is just, that is just beautiful. And it gives, literally, it gives me goosebumps whenever I get to that crescendo and then I wouldn't um I wouldn't sing it I was gonna do like the little ditty right now but you know I would get copyright strike so it's a weird way I said that okay now this next one is a very underrated um Coldplay song that's actually out there uh, it's called miracles and as of recording this song has been out for five years it is from uh, the soundtrack of Unbroken, a film by Angelina Jolie about the life of Louis Zamperini. And you can look at more information on that, but to me it's just a song that kind of is very uplifting and, I mean, very, very much an anthem. I mean, a lot of people can tell me otherwise, like, oh, Lone Wolf, it's not that good a song. That's why it didn't do so well. That's why Coldplay made it, you know, more or less a, an album single for some movie that I'm not going to watch, that's totally fine, man. I mean, you can say yes or no to it, but you got to agree, it's such a beautiful little track, and it just runs a little bit under four minutes, and I got to say, the acoustic guitar, the piano, everything, it's just, you just got to say this, it is one of the best songs, and to me, it's one of the most underrated Coldplay songs out there today, so there's that. All right. Number eight is a little bit different. Number eight is the whole of Milo Zilato, released back in 2011. A lot of people would say, well, how, how is this song, not just a song, but how is this album good? I mean, I don't think it's too good, obviously. But in the end, it is just an amazing little ditty. And of course, um... All of Milo Zilato is really good. You've got, um, you know, the title track, which segs into Hurts Like Heaven, the ever popular Paradise, and then my favorite track off the whole record, Charlie Brown, and then my second favorite track, Every Teardrop is a Waterfall, which is seg, which is um, preceded by MMIX, which spells out, I believe, 2009. I'm probably going to look that up. Um, Let me see. Yeah, 2009. MMIX 2009. Just looked it up. And then, of course, the last three songs. Um, A Hopeful Transmission. Don't Let It Break Your Heart. Up With The Birds. It is just... Whew. Yeah. And I believe it is a it's concept record. You know? Yeah. And, of course... um, Oh, it's... Oh, I get it. So, it says here... Milo Zalato is a concept album, and of course I am watching, um, I am looking at the uh, Wikipedia page, because why not? Um, Milo Zalato is a concept album and a somatic rock opera, according to this little bit right here. Oh, okay, so, man, I've always wanted the comics, you know? I mean, if you, if I ever had, um, if I ever had all the comics I would easily easily own like if I could own all these comics because I would I've always wanted it it would easily be one of my easiest reads because I love the group and I would and I'll just easily go on <laughs> all right um going back to, to parachutes a little bit just gonna say this um it is now 2019. The album is almost 25, so it's almost 
allowed, it's almost um, eligible for induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm talking about Coldplay, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, I've been rambling on too much. You can tell this video is going to be long. All right. Number seven is In My Place. You know, the the melancholy feel of this song is just... It's just astounding. I've never heard anything like it. And of course, that little uh, intro is like boom, 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 boom. Just that little bit right there. Um, I'm not going to do any more, obviously. But um, that is just that little drum beat you hear in the intro. It's very hard, but once you nail it, it is just one of the most satisfying sounds you hear. Just hearing that little loop over and over and over again and man man alive I just I just have nothing else to say except it is one of the most awesome albums <laughs> alright obviously this list is somewhat dominated by um Viva La Vida or Death and All's Friends because number six is one of the is one of their hidden gems as I call it number six is Chinese Sleep Chant I mean, the lyrics are just, um, obviously dreamy. If the band wanted to make you feel like you're in a dream or you're about to go to sleep, you know, that little feeling before, oh, I gotta go to sleep and all that, it is just one of the best feelings ever. They capture it beautifully with the beautiful guitars, the pounding drums, and they don't give you a headache. They give you a little bit of a, oh man, I gotta go to sleep. Just that feeling of exhaustion that you want. Alright? Alright then, so we've reached the halfway point of this list. I'm just gonna rattle off my honorable mentions. Uh, first honorable mention is the, jeez, I, I didn't really plan for this. I just got the list in front of me, but um, first honorable mention um, goes to, who, um, Adventure of a Lifetime, thing, yeah, Adventure of a Lifetime, and, man, it's just, you know, I'm only going to pick, like, three or four, because, you know, yeah, um, number, so that's the first one, Adventure of a Lifetime, it's just, beautiful uh number two is um the gold rush a b-side which features drummer will champion on um vocals lead vocals and the last one is oh my goodness what do i say this um i'm trying to think here oh yeah um I'm trying to think here. Okay, third one is um, what is it? I'm trying to think here. I can't, I can't really um, I can't really figure it out. Oh, uh, what is it? Not kaleidoscope. Um, moving to Mars. There we go. It's off of the Every Teardrop Is a Waterfall EP. And yeah, I I have no idea what else to say. And um. Yeah, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool, man. I mean, it's just a cute little ditty that I think will, will just, um, uh, I don't know what else to say, except, yeah, I'm, yeah, once again, I'm rambling because I love Coldplay to death. It's just, they're just one of my favorite bands, okay? All right, so forgive me for that, um, what is it? Okay. Alright, let's get back to the list before I ramble on again. Uh, number five is the Osaka Sun mix of Lovers in Japan found on the Prospects March EP or the Prospects March edition of Viva La Vida. And the song itself, I mean, I just gotta say this. It's a dance track. It sounded beautifully as a rock track or masquerading perfectly as a rock track. I mean, I can't help but dance to this little track right here. Um, the the album version goes into Reign of Love, whereas the Osaka Sun mix is just the standalone track 
Lovers in Japan, which is very much popular. I guess Reign of Love wasn't that popular either, so I guess the Reign of Love has ended. <laughs> uh, number three is the title track from Coldplay's most recently released album, A Head Full of Dreams, called A Head Full of Dreams. I mean, it just gives you that feeling like the album's going to be nice and up-tempo. Not up-tempo, like uplifting and all that good stuff. And, yeah, that's all I'm going to say right there. <laughs> Number three is the most obvious one, Viva La Vida. Huh, you know, live the life in Spanish, which is the translation. Viva La Vida literally just has people going... Like, just vocalizing with Will Champion when the song begins after, you know, screaming their heads off. It's the equivalent of going to a Green Day concert and hearing Billy Joel do the opening chords to Basket Case. You know, you just have the crowd singing along with Billy, and he even just says, you know what, I'll let y'all sing. Alright? I'll let everyone sing. <laughs> okay, then. Um, number two, Ghost Stories. The whole album. I'm not going to say anything else except any one of the songs could easily be on this list, but I'm just putting the whole album on here. Um, just because, just because of the fact that, um, yeah, yeah, just because, um, the tracks are beautiful, but if I were to pick a favorite, it would have to be either Magic or Sky Full of Stars. Alright, now a little bit of recency bias. Number one is Orphans, a story about a girl and her baba, her father, uh, dying in a, in a uh, barrage of bombs from, like, when, because they lived in Syria. I mean, the song is really sad if you listen to the lyrics, but Coldplay, in their usual way, turned into an upbeat song, and when I first heard it, I was blown away. I'm just like sitting there thinking, wow, that is awesome. And that's how I'm going to end it. Just listen to Orphans. You'll thank me later. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.